Apple is starting to come up with all these ideas where you're actually able to charge your iPhone over Wi-Fi. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? So apparently, you know, there was a patent that was passed by Apple, which link will be in the description below to this article that I read this from. And you know that Apple is going to look into wireless charging technologies, but over Wi-Fi. Now, if you guys are familiar with what the competition has offered, for example, Samsung, you know, you know, they have a wireless charging pad where you plug your charger into it, and then, you know, you basically set your phone on top of the, the charging pad, and then it automatically charges your phone without the need of a, uh, of a charging cord uh, plugged in directly to your phone. But, you know, the technologies I've seen before is, like, you take your cell phone charger and then, you know, plug it into the the pad and then just put your phone on top of it you know that's how wireless charging works and apple is looking to do something similar but different because i mean our like apple that's how they are and that's how they work you know and the fact about doing this over wi-fi now you know i i've i've thought about the idea a few times and i'm like how could this be possible yet at the same time how much bandwidth is going to be taken up from the uh, Wi-Fi signal. Now, the article was stating that this can operate in both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz um, bands. But my concern is like, okay, you know, for these phones to be charged through Wi-Fi without the need of a power cable, I mean, how much bandwidth are you going to be taking up or going to be drawing from your router in order to charge this phone? And, you know... Are there methods to charge the uh, the phone battery faster? For instance, you know, Apple, like, you can take, like, a 5-watt uh, USB adapter from Apple and then plug your iPhone into it. It starts charging. But once you plug it into the 12-watt Apple USB adapter, then it charges significantly uh, faster. Uh, that way, uh, you know, uh, your phone charges quicker and you don't have to wait for it. Now, here's the problem with Wi-Fi. You know... How fast can it charge your phone and how much bandwidth is going to be taken from a Wi-Fi connection so that way internet doesn't get bogged down for everyone else? You know, that's another uh, thing right there because I'm just curious and concerned about how much bandwidth it's going to take. And the amount of bandwidth that's being taken up from your Wi-Fi is going to affect the internet performance of everyone else as well. You know, for instance, I mean, I, I'm sure all of you guys have downloaded files before. And, you know, if that was a big file, you can see how uh, much of a performance letdown it's been to your Internet connection. You know, not just for the home environment, but also for, like, businesses as well. Uh, I mean, I just can't see charging your smartphone or your mobile device over Wi-Fi is really going to cut it. In fact, you know... So far, I'm thinking this idea, you know, might not go so well, but you never know. Apple uh, it can probably do something you know, where it'll change everything that I'm saying right now. And, you know, maybe they'll see this video and be like, hmm, okay, you know, let's not uh, have any of the internet bandwidth taken up, even if we have the phones charged over Wi-Fi. Second thing is, Wi-Fi connections are not very reliable. At, at, at least that's how I feel like, because, you know... If you have a direct wired connection, you're guaranteed reliability all the time. Wireless, sometimes it may break on and off, and you might get disconnects here and there. So, I mean, we've already seen issues with the wireless, and some of these companies are already trying to go into all digital content or digital downloadables. But even so, you know, Wi-Fi is not bulletproof right now, or wireless technologies in general. And that's why, you know, I feel like we got to make sure these are you know bulletproof and that uh, you know it's very reliable until we can safely say okay you know you have the option you want to do wired or you want to do wireless up to you um i don't worry they're both very reliable you're not going to have problems whatsoever i can't say that for both of them because wi-fi is still an issue or wireless devices in general you know whether it's wi-fi or bluetooth you know i i i can't see something like this happening but if apple does make it happen then I'll be curious to see, you know, how this affects our internet performance as well. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's a good idea for Apple to start implementing the idea? 
or the method of charging your phone over Wi-Fi. Me personally, just from my first impressions, it doesn't seem like a good idea, but you never know. Things could change, and I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. So that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Also check out the description below for my social media links, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.